Greetings and welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's the holiday season, but well, some attackers not feeling so giving. Taking away 27 trophies from the Christmas tree base of Galadon. Why? Why is this base so ineffective? Uh, I win like maybe like 2% of defenses. All right. Hey, look at the massive stone slammer just uh, leaking the next level of stone slammer there. No, obviously a lot of you guys have seen that. A uh, kind of a funny little visual glitch. I guess it's supposed to be closer to the camera. All right. Okay. Where are we going today? What are we talking about? This is the day that Galadon completely maxes out his Town Hall 12 base. We've all been waiting for this moment forever to get those. Wait, what? There's a gem box. Hold on. Okay, got to get the gem box out of the way. Sorry, Peter. And uh, yeah, so we're going to max out the walls. Of course, now we're always going to buy wall rings because they are a good deal. And I am a bit of a gemmer at heart. But, you know, we don't waste. Okay, waste not, want not. So we'll buy the wall rings for the future. But presently, hold on. Okay, clan games. Actually, you know what? Galadon, a.k.a. Save El Primo, doing a great job right now. I will be the first player in my clan to reach the uh, maxed out 4,000 points. I had some fun live streaming last night doing that, but here we go. Okay, level 12 walls. Yes, that's right. Two left to go, and we've got maxed out gold and elixir because we've been pushing those clan games points. Uh, that's been a lot of fun, but here we go. This is the moment where we finally have a completely maxed out Town Hall 12 base. All right, so... This took a while, but there it is. So we've got 200 of those level 13 walls, and I believe it's 100 left of the level 12 walls. Let's hold on. That's, that's just a screenshot. That, you know, for posterity's sake, we finally got there, and uh, it's looking good. Now, no doubt, there will be another update uh, in 2019 where we go to the full... Uh, probably, I'm guessing, it'll be all level 13 walls. So let's see. There we go. Okay, so it's currently... 200 level 13s and 100 level 12s and of course i'm guessing that the next update will bring us another 100 level 13s and then we can finally have a fully maxed out town hall 12 base just in time for town hall 13 to come out now i'm not saying that it's coming anytime soon but i would not be surprised if we saw it in 2019 probably like the last update of the year if it's going to happen but okay so we've got well, we've got some empty space here. We've got some runes. We've got some of those hammers that we haven't picked up yet. But here we go. So the shop, you never know about this shop. Now, I just missed the big deal on wall rings. I was actually planning on buying those. Uh, those packages that were here for Christmas were probably the best deals I had ever seen because basically you were just buying gems and getting all this other stuff for free. And I, I missed it, so... We're at the last sprint, and I'm assuming this means like the last sprint before the new year, although that's three days away, and today's the 26th, so this deal will end before the new year. So I, I actually have my fingers crossed that we'll see something like that come back, because, you know, there's always updates, and any chance you get to invest in the future... Uh, is a good one. So, all right, there's the normal trophy base and looking pretty good. Obviously, the walls are kind of here and there, but we did get a second Christmas tree. I'm happy about that. A second Christmas tree. And uh, no, I haven't bought any of the league uh, trophies yet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Lost Phoenix could actually get to champion one. It looks, I, I don't know. I, I feel like some of the leagues are tougher than others in CWL. Uh, in any case, we do have a shot. So let's go ahead and check out Clan Games. And what I'm going to do today, since this is a live episode, is take this challenge right here and we're going to go out into the clouds with the best army ever, okay? This army, I'm telling you right now, just check it out, screenshot it, write it down, whatever you need to do. Uh, you cannot beat it, okay? This is an amazing setup. I really like this. Yes, five ice golems, eight wizards, 12 El Primo, nine bat spells, a pair of freezes, a rage in the clan castle, some Valkyries, and a wall wrecker. That is all you need. I'm telling you right now, this is a crazy deal. If you can train up these El Primos, and the wizards, of course, are very cheap as well, uh, I think that this is a really effective army. It's, uh, for what, 56,000 or so and 2,700 dark elixir. So maybe if you're not, if you're farming dark, it's not ideal because of the bat spells. If you're farming dark elixir, then bring something else. Uh, but come on, bat spells are just a blast right now. And when you bring bats 
and a couple of freezes, you have the ability to... Well, you, you don't have to play the exact same army deployment every time, and I'll show you what I mean uh, when we get out into multiplayer. You can either play the bat spells early with the freeze, or the freezes and the rage, or you can save them for later when you're moving in with your main part of your army after the El Primos and the Ice Golems have started to distract the defenses, and then the bats move in. So, did you see that? Did you see how I'm able to move units around? I didn't even know that. I didn't even see that until uh, the Chinese clan did it when I was in Poland. That was the first time I had ever seen uh, that actually happen. Okay, so we're just donating the standard uh, waste, I mean, spend of gems. It's one gem right now, so that's a good deal. And uh, we're thanking Ares for my troops. Got to always make sure that, you know, save El Primo's out there helping the clan mates. Okay, so there's the army. We're going to train up. Everybody seems to want, still want wall wreckers. So we're going to train up some wall wreckers and we're going to go out into the clouds. Now, since this is a live episode, and I'm only at about 5,000 trophies, I figured let's go ahead and record this live, and the clouds can't be that bad, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk for the next few minutes until we find a base, but if you want to fast forward, I will come back and insert the time that you can fast forward to to skip all the clouds, all right? So if you want to skip the clouds right now, go to 1317 in the video. Okay. All right. So now what are we going to talk about? Okay. Here's the thing. I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you guys. Any of you who are sticking around during the clouds while I'm talking like this, for, that just means you're a true Galifan member. And I really appreciate that. And here we are. It's almost the end of 2018. And it's been another crazy, crazy year uh, for YouTube, for content creation, for streaming, for casting. Uh, obviously, several trips this year to Poland, to Finland. That was a blast. We did some events in LA as well. If you guys missed out on those, ask me about them in a live stream. It was a lot of fun casting uh, the PUBG Mobile Tournament for Razer Phones. Uh, got to do the Lineage 2 Revolution uh, Player Summit. I was the host for that up in LA. Uh, it's just been a crazy, crazy year. And again, you know, if you had told me eight years ago that this is what I would be doing for a living, I never, ever would have believed you. There's no possible way. I mean, I didn't grow up with people saying I had a voice for radio. Now, some people might have said I had a face for radio, but that's a different story. So, I don't know. I just, it's crazy. And so, here we are. It's been a blast. 2018 has been a good year for Clash of Clans. We've seen the game kind of come back, almost. Not from the dead. Definitely not from the dead. But it's come back from lower points. Obviously, the game is in a better place right now. I feel like both as far as views, people interested in the game, players, and of course, as far as balance. I think that Town Hall 12 is a great place for Clash of Clans right now. I mean, let's just be honest with each other. Supercell took some significant steps in 2018 to keep Clash of Clans alive, okay? Maybe it was like CPR on Clash, but in my opinion, what we saw was, of course, new endgame content. So you keep the old players active, right? You give them something to do. Uh, we also saw a big kick in the pants for the permanent Town Hall 9s and 10s to move up. You know, we see that the true challenge in Clan Wars and the true place to be if you want to be a superstar, you want to be successful, you want to be famous, you want to make money, because now there's professional opportunities, is at Town Hall 12. So maybe some of the best war players in the world that said, I'm a Town Hall 9 forever, have started to move up and farm their way up towards Town Hall 12. And well, let's just say there are some amazing and huge opportunities for extremely good players in 2019 and beyond. Okay, so that was the first part of it. The second part is I think that Supercell also took a huge step to help newer players and players that are at, in the lower town hall levels. You know, so we see content for endgame players. We see this kick in the pants for the middle nine, town hall 9 and 10. And then you see that this change of the game to make it possible for new players to quote unquote catch up. And this is an age old problem with any game. If you look back at World of Warcraft, uh, EverQuest before that, uh, Lineage 2 Revolution, any game where there's tons of levels, a player that's just recently joining is going to think, oh man, I'm never going to catch up. I'm never going to get there. This is such slow progress. So you need something to help players get through those levels. Now, these role-playing games like these MMOs, they have different advancements, extra experience, maybe even packs you can buy that accelerate you faster. In Clash of Clans, 
they've you know made upgrades much easier and much less expensive now of course i'm not saying it doesn't take away the pain of grinding through town halls nine and ten those take I mean, especially nine it takes forever it really does and even nowadays it takes a true dedication to get through town hall nine especially if you're not using any gems uh, but it is possible and it's a lot more practical than it used to be and that's exciting because what that does is give players that incentive to keep playing to keep pushing and the game keeps growing now i just looked on the google play store for top grossing apps today because I was downloading Clash of Clans onto an Android tablet. I'll tell you why some other time, uh, but for a future Strange But True project. And uh, it was number one. Clash of Clans is number one top grossing in the Google Play App Store right now. And I know that it's been top 10 on the Apple App Store forever. Okay, it's been there, I, I don't know. It's, it's usually in the top five, top three after an update, but it's almost always in the top 10. And that is fantastic to see. Now, at the same time, we saw the kickoff of Brawl Stars in 2018, which was so cool to see. I, I absolutely am loving Brawl Stars. I am live streaming that pretty much every day, and I'm hoping that you guys can come by and check it out because it is a lot of fun. And although it is extremely different from Clash of Clans, I feel like players are willing to give it a chance and players are enjoying it. Uh, it is much different than the transition from Clash of Clans to Clash Royale. If you guys noticed... We lost a lot of Clash of Clans content creators to Royale. You saw guys like uh, Molt, Nick at Night, of course, Chief Pat, The Sun. Everybody, those guys went over to Royale and they stayed there. They kind of abandoned Clash of Clans. Now, I totally actually encourage that because whatever you enjoy to play, that's what you should be creating content on. And yes, I realize that temporarily I was much more of a Royale content creator than Clash of Clans but it was because I was really enjoying it. Now, that being said, I can promise you that you will not see me go over to Brawl Stars and leave Clash of Clans behind, okay? I will continue to make Clash of Clans content. We've got exciting updates coming in 2019, and I'm going to be all over them. You will get the earliest possible update and sneak peek information, just like I always said uh, from the Clash of Clans updates and but i also will cover brawl stars because i enjoy it because i have a blast playing it and uh, although i will probably will live stream brawl stars more because clash of clans i mean look at look at the screen come on who's actually still here all right if you're still here type in blizzle frist into the chat okay into the and put put bl blizzle frist into the comments and that'll tell me that you actually stayed through this most boring part of my video and maybe my all my videos ever i mean you've been staring at clouds for a long time but i'm just saying so yes we'll cover brawl stars but clash of clans is always i'm always going to be true to clash of clans and, and, and it's true to me it's true to me okay so we found a base a town hall 12 with my best army ever and okay let's see see all the archer towers wizard towers down here i feel like instead of dropping in the bat spells early we can drop the ice golems down here along the bottom and then the el primos also along the bottom and then the heroes all right now now what wait for them to get in as they get in a little bit and they pick up the fire from those archer towers now we can drop in the bat spells here we go bat spells everywhere and now the bat spells will annihilate all of those defenses as we move in there we go the siege machine on its way easy peasy and oh, hold on watch this double freeze yes oh look at that epic double freeze deployment right there double freezes and look at the bats look at the bats go until they finally reach those wizard towers they have annihilated almost every defense i mean i'm telling you right now okay i was asked that this last night when i was streaming on clash uh, on twitch i do think that bats are still too strong I honestly do. Are they broken? Are they crushing the game? Not not necessarily, but I do anticipate that the next time we see a balance, we'll see something happen to slow these bats down. I'm not sure exactly what it is, uh, but I just feel like they can't permanently be this strong. I don't know that bases are going to be able to change. You know, we can't possibly see the meta ever adapt. I mean, come on. If Galadon can three, the strat's OP. I absolutely crushed that base. So, maxed out. I don't know. Anyway, 
Let me know what you guys think. What is coming for 2019? Obviously, we've got a fix to the clouds, Operation Blue Skies. I'm guessing another nerf to the bat spells and hopefully some other exciting stuff. And maybe even could be 2019 Town Hall 13 at the end of the year. It's possible. Stay tuned because you know you will always get the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. You guys are the true hashtag Galafam. I really appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end of the episode, especially if you were in the middle for all that other information. Thank you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic and truly blessed holidays. You guys mean the world to me, and I hope that I helped make your day just a little bit brighter. And now in return, I hope that you all come back again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Is it over? Is it? I fell asleep a bit in there. What, what happened, Gallydon?